want something, go get it. Period. Welcome back, foodies. I have another slow cooker dinner recipe for y'all. Y'all love the cheeseburger soup, and I love anything in a slow cooker. Like I said, I have not had Mississippi pot roast in forever. If y'all know, you know, Mississippi pot roast or Mississippi chicken, it's these ingredients, but something is not in this picture that usually is. Like a million sticks of butter. This is a Mississippi pot roast in the slow cooker with zero butter to save on calories. So even if you're not counting calories or macros, this one's gonna be delicious for you and your family. But if you are, and you wanna sneak this in for the whole family and yourself, I got you. So we're gonna need some type of roast. I'm just using a chuck roast today. Got this from Aldi. A pack of ranch seasoning, a pack of onion soup seasoning mix. Some banana peppers or the pepperoncinis, whatever you can find, and half a cup of the juice in the jar, and half a cup of beef broth or water, and that's it. First thing I did is weigh out my roast. I needed around 49, 50 ounces. Mine came out to be 44.9 ounces, so I adjusted in my recipe at my first form app, and that will be the correct macros I tell you guys at the end. The original recipe I'm gonna link down below for you guys, she says to sear your roast. A lot of people swear by that. I don't really tell much of a difference, in my opinion, when using a slow cooker. Y'all let me know what you think down below, but I just dump my roast in there, and we're getting to it. I'm going to sprinkle my ranch packet on top. We're using the whole thing, you guys. Just dump it in. Next, I've got my onion soup mix. Dump her in. 140 grams of your banana peppers or pepperoncinis. As you guys can see, it was about a little more half of that jar. Dumping that in, and then we're gonna add half a cup of the juice. Half a cup of beef broth stock or water. So I kind of took a spatula and really got the seasoning mixed up with the liquids there so it wasn't all dry on top of the roast. It probably doesn't matter. We're gonna put the lid on on low for eight hours. Doing voiceover y'all because it was the hubby's birthday and it was super loud in the background. This is after eight hours of the roast cooking slow and low and it is delicious after being shred. It makes a nice gravy. What we did actually for ours instead of just eating it as pot roast, we went to Dollywood and we had pot roast french fries for around Christmas time and they were superb and I wanted to recreate that. So what I did here and I have it slowed down so you can see it is I have some potatoes that I put in the air fryer make my own homemade french fries we have those on the bottom a serving of the mississippi pot roast and then i drizzled some of this good and gather queso blanco heated up on top and it was better than the ones that we had at dollywood highly recommend making this combo right here super easy but oh so delicious. My husband also ate this on one of the Keto Culture low calorie hot dog buns with some cheese on top and it was good that way. You can eat it with some veggies on the side, all kinds of ways, but I will tell you, this tasted better than the original Mississippi pot roast in my opinion and you're saving way on calories. The macros I am popping up on the screen here and I will have them in the description box down below per serving that we made. You could definitely stretch it further if you want to. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you look forward to these recipe videos every single week here on my channel. If you're new, I'd love to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. Y'all come back to this video and comment if you made this, what creation you made with it, and how you liked it. I love hearing all your stories in the kitchen, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.